we should see zero zero on each and they start as i predicted it is correct all right so we can start talking about what's happening so of course we see some super speeding on the glenna there because i see a tempest on keck's side with Hailstorm storm as the active which is eye of the storm so uh, if i'm not mistaken Right, racials enabled. Yeah. So it looks like Kex has four Tempests. That's going to be very nice for Cleave, Super Speed, RS, CC, all that kind of stuff. And we have DP. Which are actually running no Tempest at all. They have two Weavers, they have a Soul Beast, which I'm assuming is doing backward. Actually, no, they do have a Tempest, sorry. I'm assuming that Soul Beast is going to be doing backward. And just looking from the team comps, I guess Kex should actually be able to clear faster. The power of the super speed is going to be a felt. I would say, but they also started a little late. Um, DP is already on the other side of that particular area. Kick is still fighting the trash mobs in between. But it's Super like... Speed can play a huge role in the end, I would say. That's very true. It looks like also DP's Druid is running Protect Me. Unless my stream is a. Uh... Trolling it's me. more interesting they use a racial skin that's yes. not apparently bad. I'm trying to confirm. Yeah, that's true. We, we might have some issues here in regards to racial skills here, I guess. Uh, as, as chat has been pointing it out, uh, but yeah. So far. Apparently, it's bad. It is banned. I yuck. Okay, we're gonna have to apply some penalization at the end then, unfortunately. But uh, let's not interrupt these players, guys. Disquantified? No, guys. They're just gonna add time. So right now, when DP seems to be winning, they actually might not be winning in the end. We'll see how all the other bosses are going through. Also, please inform the guilds that it is not allowed, just in case. I will. I wrote already some. Yeah. Yeah, Terry is right, actually, as well. If they don't use the racial skills, I think it's still fine. Can just yeah. be a waste lot? Uh, yeah, but I didn't use it. He might be just trolling by selecting it because yes. he has nothing else to take. And never and mind. And he just used it. <laughs> So we do have some finalization being applied there. They almost got through that unscathed, but unfortunately. It's gonna be some time, guys. It's not gonna be like disqualified or something, but it is going to be time added to the clear time. Looks like the work is getting very, very close to Kex's plan, but they are still gonna be fine. They just call her back. They are actually very, very close right now. A little bit of downtime on both sides for the portal. Looks like someone moad the backward on the P side and yes. it almost jumped on top of Glenna. That was very spooky. They're trying to min max this particular event because uh, I think this is the one which you can catch the most time. Like, Kex just cleared their last mine, and they're moving in. Even though the end boss isn't particularly hard, there's still the chance that maybe DP escapes one of the faces on the actual boss of the event. It is possible. That would be very, very fortunate for them. They could gain a lot of time. Also, I think both guilds will stay on the tower at the end as well, uh, just to minimize the risk. 
of uh, letting it spawn down. Yes, Kex just did that. Oh, do they have a double portal setup? Oh, yes, they do. Yep. Nice. So they can just take the portal and they're back down, killing stuff. Very nice. Also, that Deep portal what? did not open on the DP side. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it was uh, probably a continuous oh, split portal. Looks like they are. Oh, they're just a uh, gliding bit down. To go back. Yep. Oh, the boss did not teleport. They were very, very lucky. Second phase for Kex. Is very clean on both sides. To look like DPD got to skip a phase, so escort is going to go to Kex, and they are going to be a little bit ahead. Now the interesting thing for KC is going to be what strat will they use? Are they going to go with the mid strat or the side strat? Yeah. How many orbs they're gonna do? Let's see. Vu relogs actually. DP might keep the soul beast. It's obviously very very strong on the on the burst phase. They might have the tempest just retreat to a weaver. Yeah. They're already into weaver. Oh, they seem to be doing mid strat, which could be very beneficial uh, if they manage to do the spirits correctly. Or it could be a run killer. Yes. They could lose the time. Which they had ahead of DP, nevertheless of the racial skill thing as well. That is true. Looks like DP is going to go mid strat as well. Yeah. They cannot afford to lose any more time, so they will probably try to get the most out right now. So Kex boss is melted. Not being melted. Whereas DP, uh, well, their boss will just spawn. Waiting for the roleplay to finish. And we actually have a soul beast point of view. The druid has retreated to a soul beast. So they now have only one druid. Very interesting tactic there at Kex. Uh, that was. Uh... Very well executed mid strat there. They also got the CC. Nice. So now it's up to do how many orbs will they need. Oh, DP seems to be moving out of the middle a little bit. They. Okay, we got one orb strat on Kek's side. Very risky. DP very unlucky with the circles as well. They will get the DP CC. DP very, very unfortunate spawn on the. On the statues, yeah. they had to move the boss a little bit to avoid them merging. Yeah, that, that was very does clever. Lose them, does lose them a little bit of time, but very nice adaptation by them. Kex just uh, face 66%. They're looking very strong right now. One orb shot being used by both guilds. It is very risky unless you're confident and can make it. And it seems that they both uh, were confident, so... Both have the DPS, yes. They do have the DPS. It's a Kex Weaver hovering over the catching orbs mechanic to see when he has to precast to maximize his DPS. Right. Very nice aggro on the jump for Kax right there. Nice. Also trying to put the spirits down to the middle. 
One has died. Was it in range though? It seems that it was not in range. Oh, that's gonna cost them some time. So one of the spirits was not in range, therefore they still have one stack left on the armor. They cannot do the break bar. Very unfortunate there. They have to do the double explosion again. Mm -hmm. DP is successfully, they managed to do that. So they're a they little bit of health. Slightly ahead, yes. Very well controlled on the spirits. One person always going out. The communication is there, that is really nice to see. Still doing one one orb on DP. Gax is gonna have an easier time in this burst phase now because yes. they gained some damage outside of it. But they are still behind in overall time if we don't count yet the penalty that DP is going to get for using a racial skill on Escort. We don't know about yeah, we, we don't know exactly. about that it's gonna be, yeah, we, we're gonna discover that at the end when Teapot Smash will also be finished. Yeah, guys, just be calm in chat, guys. We will evaluate it, and if we're gonna say that it is allowed still, it is fine. But so far, both matches, despite the a little problematic thing. They're very well close to each other, and not a very exciting match. Now let's see who has enough DPS to bug him out in a positive way. Now, the big time gain, aside from Escort, which was very, very close, is going to be Twister Castle. Yes. Kex did lost some time uh, on KC, oh, unfortunately. Good DPS to bug it out properly. Nice. And if done correctly, they can CC easily. Yeah. Last green circles for DP. Yeah. Kex is very close. They just entered the green circles phase. But DP also went one orb. Now it's now or never. Even if you can't make it, you will still continue. Oh, Looks it like merged on the DP side. It shouldn't matter too much. Yeah, it will slow them a little bit. He got some boons. Someone got hit by that, and but it didn't matter. It won't KC matter much. Is down. This Same is happened time. to Kex, actually. But they're all not standing in it, so... Nice. It did not get the retail. It might be a little bit problematic for them, though. It looks like damage is yes, it seems that a it little is bit missing. lower. Okay, the circle will spawn, but they should not have any issues killing this boss. Very close to dying. They're all full HP. It looks like they will be fine. They also got the second mechanic, because the circle was, would have spawned already, so in case Very that nice. would be bad. Unfortunately, the DP is already at the portal skip. So they're very far ahead. Of Kex. It is very close matchup so far. Let's see the Soul Beast rushing with his greatsword to the to the button to open the door and relogs to a Steve for mm. Sarah. You see nice uh, abuse of the loading times there? Yep, I was just about to mention that. Very nice. It's a nice relog spawn. Oh. oh. He tried to teleport, but unfortunately the squad was in combat, so he died in a few seconds. Would you survive it? Well, you, you would survive if you get teleported, actually. Oh. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know either. Someone needs to test that, guys. Looks like Kax is wasting a little bit more time. Even though they were further behind DP, it still does look that they are wasting a little bit more time here. They need to get up the stairs, they're having some trouble with the statue positioning. Oh, that was a really nice idea on the Kex. Ooh, okay. Ooh. I don't think they expected that, but it seems that... Right, it, oh, it nice. Again. Scourge pull, save the day. Oh, DP seems to be... Wait, did they? Yeah, they made it. Never mind. 
It was. It looked almost like they uh, wiped. Also, DP is landing. <laughs> the streamer for DP is landing low client. shaders, guys. If you've never and seen this, client. yeah. If you've never seen this, this is w when you turn the shaders to the lowest. This is how the platforms look like, despite they're gray. If you had them in well, the other two settings. Black platform. Oh. It looks better this way, in my opinion. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, just like Obsidian, where the proper PCs have grayish nothingness. Looks like DP is going to go and fight Sarah with two Weavers, a Daredevil, and a Dadai, two Holosmiths, and a Condition Warrior with banners, obviously. And we're gonna see Cax Team Comp very soon. A few seconds away now, it's about the strats which the groups will use. They try to just stay in one place, do enough DPS, and then maybe risk something bad happening with the teleports, or do they play like a more Kex safe sta strat? Stacking hollows mids, actually. Yeah, th that's gonna provide them with a ridiculous cleave. Very, on very the melee cleave. range. Less risky. So let's check and out yeah, DP. I'm, DP I'm just assuming finished. both DP. teams do have uh, the damage with both team comps actually, seeing from um, how well KC went. So it seems like a Condi holo on uh, the Kex side, because he's running a flamethrower. That is a very nice thing oh, to yeah, see. Yes. Meanwhile, DP is already fighting Zera. Let's see how big this break bar is. It was ridiculously fast. They shouldn't very have any fast. issues with phasing it in time. Do you go with one? Yeah. Uh, with no issues there. Laser didn't even have the chance to spawn there. Beautifully nice DPS on the DP stream. Nor did the half circle actually. And yeah, that is uh. also true. Really well executed DPS. They're almost phase zero. Checks have some issues on the last platform, but they've killed everything now, so. As DP just faced, they're about to the hardest part of the boss, which is obviously the gliding. Let's check Kex while we wait. So Kex just encounters Zero. Let's see if they're gonna have any issues here. Look at that condition holo rotation. Now that is a sight to see. But the break bar is a little slower on Kex, but they shouldn't have any issues there. DPS. Was a nice recast. Yeah. Gex really call. has to hope um, that something goes wrong for DP. Their team comp does leave the possibility that they might get run over by ads. They do not have as much. Kex had no issues with staying up in the middle. It's not a high DPS requirement, but you still require to have some form of skill there to execute that nicely. Uh, unfortunately, the half circle spawn in the end, which kind of means that they were a little slow. Uh, but Kex just started gliding, and DP has finished gliding. Uh, no members were lost on the DP side so far. So let's see how that goes. All right, so is it gonna be a middle? Uh, DP seems to be doing a middle strat. Hmm. It is a little bit more safer. Why did oh, they? What is this a little movement? Bit weird movement from the tank. I think that they're also standing in the half, which is gonna get uh, the half circle as well. Uh, no, it's safe for now. Since they will probably move to position four. Oh, did we just lost the kick stream? By the way. Oh God, no. Oh. They are currently gliding. Okay, maybe just update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gliding. Okay, it's back. It's back. Sorry, it just lacked. Okay, looks like the tank moved to a very weird spot in the middle by mistake because they are doing normal mid to left side strat. Yeah. They have a huge amount of damage, um, so they should yes, be struggling. Very nice. See some spirits to cast down there. Oh, 
Got hit by the orb there. Very nice. Someone has died on the P side, actually. Ooh. It's, what? They still have a huge amount of damage. And they shouldn't be struggling with damage in any other way, despite losing their play. They will struggle in case. I believe it was two people oh. dead on the P side mm. now. They are struggling with some kind of damage. Yeah, the, the position there wasn't particularly good. Oh, this could be very bad. They need to clear the shards really, really fast. And now. also Mechanical the circle. Placed. Ooh, very close. Okay, looks like they recovered. CC, CC shard spawning. Shouldn't be that particularly difficult to get rid of this. They have a nice cleave, and they're looks about like they to have finish. Fully recovered, and, nice. and there it's it is. Me. Takes DP, the win. Uh, won this, but we're gonna see. Uh, Kex is ridiculously close as well. So let's just uh, watch Kex. 25% difference. Oh, my stream again froze. Rip. Okay. The DP was the power berserker and not the conditioned one. Oh, okay. Since I'm pretty sure you saw an activator there. Interesting. So it looks like DP is not going to get any penalties for the racial scale usage. So it seems that. Because. Then... Um, hasn't really affected anything or like any outcome of anything, yeah. it was just used once and they were still slower overall in the event. So it seems that they have actually won the game. Even if there were any penalties, I believe that the time difference is a little bit too big. But that with the castle honestly gained them a lot of time there. It was very unfortunate positioning for Kax for the statues to be like in the staircase. And yeah, the PV takes the win, just like that. And Zera is almost dead as well on Kax. There we go. A very good times indeed for both groups. It is unfortunately Kax uh, a bit unlucky with that one spirit, I would say, on KC, which could kind of cost them the time they needed. So they were that, struggling yeah. on Twisted Castle a little bit, uh, and but they were faster on Escort, unfortunately it was not enough.